Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, in the last episode we did the following Simes mission. Uh, the team's a little bit injured because I misjudged some distances. Uh, but there's nothing unusual with that for me. Uh, we're going to defend this uh, Anu Haven from the Forsaken. So let's, uh, let's send the team in, uh, clear them out, get some favour. And then I think I'm going to need to send them to rest up because they're getting a little bit tired. Unfortunately, the downside of the Simon's mission is we do need to go to Antarctica. So we're, we're kind of waiting on finding a path down there. Looks like we've already got some uh, some guys right near us. And we're dotted around all over the place. Uh, well, let's get our frenzy going. Yeah, there's that's not many people that are getting their frenzy because most of the rest of the team is over there. There is a, an Anu Assault that we could borrow. This is really weird, actually, having it like this. Let's let's start bombing these guys just off the edge. I think that's that's going to make me feel better about everything. Just just getting some bombs off the edge. Then Nina's kind of hemmed in at the moment. Okay, let's uh, let's get Eliza down here to grab this friend. Really, what we're looking for is finding where the threats are so we can charge on in and probably hammer them. Get to here, we can we can do a lot when we get closer. There's actually a lot that's probably close enough for, for Nina to work her way through with some dashing. Maybe with a little bit of onslaughting. So if I dash down here... Oh yeah, this is going to be fine. Right. Rapid clearance. The tentacle retaliation is something that obviously we'd be concerned about, but we do have the shard gun. Do this guy next. Then, with your pistol, can you shoot this guy once? That way, Nina can get her shard gun out. For a guaranteed takedown. <laughs> and 
of the guys over here are panicked, which is exactly what we want. I don't think I can get any onslaughting on Nina. It's a bit of a shame. Let's get you walking to the edge and have a look down. Yeah, they're they're panicked. Oh, we could mind crush them actually. Just to like really <laughs> hammer it home. Let's do that a couple of times. So actually with only only one guy left. What we could do is we could come over here and do an adrenaline rush shot on him. Ah, uh, yeah, jeez. Absolutely terrifying. But it, it just goes to show that Nina by herself is incredibly powerful. Um, but it's, it's the frenzy that really makes everything possible. Being able to move so far between units without any worry, that's, that's where the real magic is. So I think if and, if and when they think about how they're going to balance things like that, it's it'd be better to eliminate certain combinations than to just outright change the way things work. I, I think that's, that's what I'm thinking with this. Uh, right, you guys need to rest, so let's send you back down here. And you guys are resting up as well. Uh, which is good because we need that satellite uplink. Lovely. Uh, so having having everyone rest, of course, it's not the most interesting thing, but it is kind of necessary. Uh, let's get another shard gun on the go. Another shard gun or another scorpion? Another scorpion. Construction complete. Yeah, until the uh, the satellite uplink is done here, our ability to extend further south is, is going to be kind of hampered. We can activate this base down here. Uh, it's not going to cost us anything to do that. It is infested, though. And it is just too far to reach, which is a shame. So we're going to have to wait to get to it. Research complete. Cruise control. Even if a machine's construction is flawless, there's always one big weakness, the human factor. You go go AI takes the motion out of the equation make sure every route selected is optimized using the... Oh. Can reach their destinations faster. It doesn't give us a further range, but that's still pretty cool. Oh wait, that's uh, that's a specific thing. T escape speed increased by a hundred. Useful for rapid response. I could see that being useful, but that's the kind of thing that I'd like right at the start. Like researching it this late in the game, I don't think it's really going to make that much difference. And there's so many things like that that I think have have that issue. Uh, right, so we have done a whole bunch more manufacturing. Let's very quickly go into our personnel. Raphael, you're getting a shard gun, mate. Enjoy. That's a step up for you. Come 
Arcana, we can give you one of the Scythers. And the other one, of course, is going to go on to Nina. Uh, Nina's actually going to take two, um, two close range weapons because there'll be times when we want to use the Scyther and times when it just doesn't work. Uh, what else do we have that we can put out? I don't think we have any other antediluvian bits yet. No, not until the scorpion's made. That's okay. When the scorpion's made, we'll uh, we'll assign it. Research complete. Medical bay and healing bay increase fifty percent. Hmm. Medical nanites. We have another scorpion available. Who are we going to give this one to? Eileen's got one. Marton has one. Isaac has one. Vincent would probably be the next. Or Lucy. Maybe Lucy. Yeah, and because of the way the uh, the game ends up playing, we do have this waiting time. Uh, the satellite uplink is going to take a fair bit of time to happen. We could, of course, send uh, the teams out to try and do like uh, another couple of little things dotted around, but it's it's not going to move us any closer to our goal. We've been very efficient uh, with what we've done. So there's only a few havens that we haven't seen. Uh, there's just the entirety of South America that we haven't seen as well. Uh, so maybe maybe this is a learning experience for me for next gameplay to... Uh, sorry, next uh, next playthrough uh, to get the different bases in different locations activated sooner. Research complete. Look at that, the shock lance. We're never going to use it. Never going to use it. Uh, what we can do is we could start moving towards Project Domovoy or Signal Disruption Tech. Um, both of those are kind of cool. Um, let's put Production Robotics at the start. Because that's going to be Research quick. Complete. Fabrication plant efficiency is improved. Anything else that's like really, really close... No. Well, if Ant's laser tech is, is good enough, uh, the satellite uplink will be done in five hours and then we'll start seeing things happening. Construction complete. We could, of course, Haven is under attack. Um, put the entire... Oh god, this is going to be super fast, isn't it? Uh, we could, of course, put the entire... Uh, team uh, onto a different ship. I don't know if we're going to make it in time. Even with the fast ships. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. I mean, we could try and sit more centrally, but let's bring them down here. And in the meantime, we'll head across to the other team, just in case there's things that have been revealed yet. Oh, we have a, a new active Pandora structure. It's only a nest. We'll ignore it for now. New turrets, laser arrays, and other things. Quite fun if you're if you're going full on laser. Uh, definitely good fun. I'd be curious about the Thunderbolt, though. 
Let's move that to the top so we can see what that looks like. Construction complete. Still nothing around this. Hey! A place to explore. Not cool, but we are sort of in the right neck of the woods for it. I'm going to bring the whole party across, though. So, polish one, polish two. We're moving to America. Research complete. Okay, so this Thunderbolt... Is it a vehicle weapon? Yeah. Damage 150. Decent range. Decent shred. That's pretty cool, actually. So we've been using the Artemis so far, which is 80 damage at 1850. This is 150 damage at a little bit less. Let's get three of those being made. Just, you know, for science. Okay, we've got a scavenging site just over here. We've also got this uh, Thunderbird coming into the area, which I am curious about. And we have a voice in the wilderness, exploration site. Our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix project site. What appears to be no more than a small nondescript shack is in fact leads to a heavily fortified underground nuclear bunker built in the 1940s. Hashtag Fallout. Here the project stored much of its older archival materials in addition to various oddities collected by its eccentric first administrator, Randolph Symes. Sadly, a significant part of the archive seems to have been destroyed by mold. However, a number of highly valuable documents have survived, including several compilations of the proceedings of the Phoenix Working Group, one of the Phoenix Project's predecessor organisations. These accounts of investigations conducted more than a century ago can give us new insights into how we approach our work today. So a bit of research, some materials. It's probably the most interesting thing is, uh, is actually getting the tech. Is this thing actually co it's coming to the base, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're kind of going to have to engage this thing. This is not what I was expecting at all. Okay, uh, so what's it got? It's got a Fury Pod, which does a decent amount of damage. It's got a 6 burst. Wow. Yeah, that's nasty, but it's it's got a really short range. And it's got the Railgun, which has a decent range. Ignores 120 armor, so armor is basically useless. Or is it 120 damage that just ignores armor completely? Either way. Take this thing out first and then we'll... Wow, though that's, that's a lot of armor. 50 armor. Uh, so the laser gun is going to do nothing. This will do something. Let's see. Yeah. So the laser gun, useless. Really, I'd like to stay at a bigger range. That'd be nice. Let's 
So, did it actually do EMP damage? Has it, has it done anything? If not, those those armor plates are actually a lot better than I originally thought. Uh, let's let's disengage. It's not worth us getting hit by the fury pod. So, what have you got? You can shred. So, with the Nomad, we can at least do something. But it's uh, it's not going to be great, that's for certain. We can just ride it out and... Uh, and let it bomb us. But, obviously, don't want to do that. Really disappointing that they can repair while they're away from uh, wherever they are. Okay, so we're not going to really start shredding for a while. This is going to be useless until then, and the fire suppression isn't going to be much. So yeah, not not cool, not cool. In fact, you know, it's it's not worth us having this fight. We're just going to take damage. We could just uh, keep the repairs going, and we'll uh, we'll deal with it. Instead, let's uh, let's go and get some supplies. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, those armor plates. Wow. Definitely uh, want something. Uh, well, in fact, setting them on fire would probably do quite well. I think it'd be effective against everything except damage over time stuff. Okay, here we go. Stuff we're good at. Uh, killing these guys. We've got one, two, th oh god, they're miles away, some of them. Okay, we're going to need to do this as a, a load up. So, Raph, you can get inside. We'll get someone to go through and tap that. Yeah, it wants to take us round. That's what I wanted to check. So dash, dash. Rapid clearance. First use of the cipher. Here we go. Four hundred and ninety-seven damage. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That acid Myrmidon is going to have a huge explosion radius. Khan has got full health. This is fine. So we've been hit by... 490 acid what that's a lot more than I was expecting that seems extremely high
Okay, we might need someone to do an onslaught. Can anyone Ready. think Eileen can do an onslaught? Uh, so that we can evac. I dash you to here. And then I dash you to Would here. You know? Carla's gonna grab what she can. And then we're gonna do an onslaught. So that we can run out of the map. Because 490 acid is way too much to pretend like we're going to deal with. Okay, let's, uh, let's start the tank moving in. Okay, we've got a guy right down the end. Two guys right down the end. Let's take a tiny bit of cover. Pretend like uh, like we're hiding out. And uh, Mart on. You can just Perfect shot. knock one of them down. Okay, Amelia, you are our close quarters um, kill kill everything person seeing as Karna is um, indisposed now at least we've got a full load of, uh, of stuff there's quite a lot of those myrmidons around I think the rest of them will just splatter the face. A couple of hits on our side. Yeah, get a bit closer so it's easier for us to kill you. But Eileen, I think I'm actually going to move her across here. I am a bit concerned about that siren. But not too much at the moment. That's a reasonable selection of stuff. Heading out. There's another crate up on top. There's so many things for us to get on this map. And that thing's got quite a quite a big jump as well. So not a specific concern. Let's bomb this thing. There we go. It's going to bleed out. It's exactly the kind of thing we want to see. Let's show them what we can do. I've got this. Might need to be two quick aim shots actually based on your position. Or well, we can move across to the side and maybe it'll be better. Not much better. him to stand up. Get back to your standing bit. Stand up and look this way. 
So he's like waggling around. Yeah, that's close enough. Huh, bad luck. Well, killed some of the cover. Seeing as we're already bringing the tank this way. Let's see if this is something we can just make easier. That's all right. That's pretty good. Raph is going to stay inside, I think. At least for this turn. We'll get him out next turn. Yeah, we're going to do lots of shooting on you, mate. If you manage to mind control from there, I would be very annoyed. Hi! Literally just went in to key my car. Okay. Shard gun. This thing is hiding quite nicely around the corner, but it is not going to be safe. Oh no. It is not going to be anywhere close to safe. Quick aim. We could mark it for death uh, to do another 250 damage to it. And that will be pretty damn effective. Quick aim. Guess it didn't really have enough armor. Um, yeah. So that's the thing. We have a little bit of acid on us. I want to shoot this guy. And then I want to drive on and ignore that acid weapon. And get someone else to shoot it. That's someone else most probably being... Nicely stealthed. Come on, Marton. Preparing to fire. <coughs> That'll do. That'll do. That stops it attacking. Right there. Okay, Amelia. Let's get your boom blast on the go. That might be all we need to do. You're going to bleed out in two turns. You're going to bleed out in three turns, but that's fine. You're going to bleed out in one turn. All right, let's uh, let's send you down and in to get some loot. did mean to heal. Well, actually, no, you healed up naturally over time but anyway, didn't you? That's fine. I can pretend like I did what I meant to do. We just ended up waiting long enough that it wasn't really a concern. So, dash round, grab stuff, dash back. Can't actually make it back in one turn. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, 
It's thinking about leaving. It's it's properly thinking about it. Get you unloaded. I should have done this beforehand. Alas, I was not that forward thinking. Okay, if we come to here. We can then turn around on the space. Get you back out. Grab all of these. Get back in. And unload everything. So, I think the last three will be up in this one. Let's uh, start moving back. Can we come centrally? Yes, we can come centrally. Can we come centrally all the way? No, we can't. We have to go around this way. This is why I like to check where we're going. Uh, Eileen, I think you're probably fine. We'll move you down here. Just to be safe. Not worth grabbing that. We've technically already grabbed that. Not worth grabbing little bits left over from here. So, you're Good coming morning. across the map, actually. And Emilio, you're actually just coming back ready to evac. I guess they have reinforcements coming in. Painful and not cool. If you're going to get up here, what route is it going to try and, and take you? Actually, like, over here and up. All right. I think we'll just evac you. No point in getting shot unnecessarily. Heading out. Eileen, you're fine for a little bit. Uh, we can bring the tank across as well to try and land a bit of cover. Just in case we happen to see something. I really want to grab the last little bit from that last box. Oh, he's still alive. He's going to die next turn. There is nothing in this box. Oh no, it's just we're on a slightly different level. Yeah, that was weird. Then come to here so you're ready to go out. Uh, Eileen, you can just go. We'll just take the tank out as well. Wow, so they explode even if they're bleeding to death. That's really good to know. Really worrying to know, but really good to know. 
Alright. Out you go. Don't get shot by Overwatch. It's fine, you don't care about that. Carry on, soldier. Let's rock. They're close, but they're not that close. Actually, no, they're, they're really, really close. So, definitely time to go. Definitely time to go. Alright, so we're getting a bunch of loot from this. Uh, our base is still being bombarded, which is not cool. But all in all, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, so so this is going to be here for a little bit of time. Um, we haven't yet found anything that's just far enough away for us to be able to make a move on on the memorial base, which is a real shame. Uh, and obviously, the behemoth needs twelve disruption points now in order to be knocked out. So that's going to be quite the concern. Um, but it's going to be quite the concern for another time. We're going to finish up here. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.